If you're new here, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. I appreciate it. What's up guys, today I'm going to give you guys some tips if you want to play the low tier reaper in Final Fantasy XIV in PvP and how to make the most out of its kit because it's not exactly a, a nuke kit, kind of like Dragoon and Samurai and Ninja but the reaper's main objective is just to annoy people and keep them off an objective Just a disclaimer that this is a guide for noobs from a noob and I have no actual achievements playing PvP as a reaper and I play purely for fun Okay, so to begin, I'll just tell you guys, there's no best setup for your skills on the hotbar. Use whatever keys are most comfortable for you. For example, I have my filler combo on one, which is what you use when everything is on cooldown. It's just, it will never be on, this one will never be on cooldown. And then I have my stack builder on two. I'll explain what these stacks are for in the next part. My AoE is slow on 3, this you want to use every time it's off cooldown and you're chasing someone. My damage stacker on 4, you always want to use this before you hit anyone, or before you're using your 5. The highest damaging ability is the 5, but I'll explain how to use it in the next part. I'll have my buff on E, this increases your damage dealt and gives you a shield, I think, yeah. And the limit break on R, which is just your ultimate. All my healing and support items are on the shift 1, two, three, one 2, 3, and 4, so that's what I find comfortable. And my sprint is on shift R, because I also find that comfortable, just whenever I'm chasing someone, I'll just pop a sprint or I'm trying to run away. And the teleport, I have on F, but the problem is with the teleport, you want to have it on whatever you find most comfortable, because you'll be using this a lot, for example, you'll be running after someone, slowing them and then when the whole team comes you just run away right pop sprint run away so now i'm moving okay so i don't have the most experience with reaper pvp as i am a new player and the new pvp is kind of new but what i'll do when i approach someone is i'll use my four right death warrant this makes it so whatever damage you're doing on them gets compiled, I think 50% of it. And after those, the duration ends, all your damage, will, half your damage will be hit on the target, right? So, for example, I can use that. I can use Death Warrant, right? And I can use Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon is a life seal that you can only use after Death Warrant. It's an AoE life seal. See how it damaged again? That was half of the lifesteal damage, right? So once you pop your death warrant, you wanna hit some you wanna hit the person with everything you have. So it'll be two, three, one, two, one, two. And you wanna make sure this is always on cooldown. Your soul slice always has to be on cooldown. So you build up these plentiful harvest stacks, right? What plentiful harvest does is once you get to eight stacks, this so the plentiful harvest does 20k damage right but the more stacks of immortal sacrifice that you have the more damage your plentiful harvest does right i'll show you so now it did 12k right i'm gonna get my eight stacks and i'm gonna show you how much it does okay now that i have my eight stacks we'll see how much damage it did before it did 12k, now 20k. You see the difference? And then if you do, tw this is gonna hit for another around 12k. So that's 30 something k, which is I only have 50k health. It's gonna melt a lot of people, considering you can hit multiple people with it. You can hit it basically just the whole line in front of you. But now that we have the basics, okay, let me just explain the healing stuff. Obviously, recuperate, you just use to heal. It takes your MP, MPs recover very slowly, or when you kill someone, I think. Use guard to buy time, or to just avoid a massive nuke. Standard issue elixir is something you use when you're not being hit. It basically takes your health and mana to fall. And purify takes you out of any crowd control 
and stuff like White Mage, Ninja, they have a lot that will just stun you. And you just use it, run away, shift. If there's enemies there, you teleport back, run. Explain what the different variations of skill does. So for example, when you use your Arcane Crest, your damage is getting increased by 10%, as well as you get like a 12k shield. So you're going to use this, pop your uh, Death Warren, then you're going to use your slow, your slow buffs your uh, basic filler combo like this. That's why you want to use it, then you want to use this and use your thing again, right? This should do like a decent amount of damage, Reaper isn't really known for the damage, but you have to do what you have to do, right? So after that, after like that couple like seconds, you have two Immortal Sacrifice stacks. And the only way you can get Immortal Sacrifice stacks is by using your two or killing an enemy, right? Which is kind of hard on Christine Conflict. You're not going to get it much unless you kill steal, basically. But once you just basically rinse repeat, never use this unless it's on eight stacks or unless you know you're going to kill someone, right? With it. Because it has a pretty long cooldown, 60 second cooldown. And that's that's a long cooldown to wait because that's basically all the reapers down once you guys are finished practicing the basic combo without using your limit break you want to use tenebrae the moon right but you only want to use this when you're trying to get i'll play a clip but well, i'll play a clip here but you only want to use this when you're trying to get an enemy off an objective right because it inflicts something called Hysteria, and if you ever play World of Warcraft or like... Hysteria is basically fear, so I use... imagine I use it here. The enemy's gonna go running this way. They can, they can use Purify to get out of it, but they're gonna be crowd controlled and they can't like move, use skills or anything. So imagine the Crystalline Conflict thing is here. I can use it and all the enemies run off and I can push it by myself. But also, once you do that, it buffs your skills. You basically spam your filler combo. You use your slow, which does bind. I'm not exactly sure what bind does. I think it just makes it so they can't move. Use death warrant as well. Make sure you use death warrant. And if you press the limit break again after using the bind, you'll get a big AoE that you have to cast. But it's just extra damage on top of the death warrant. But you keep in mind that you can't use Bentful Harvest when you're in the... Oh, and I'm pretty sure you can't use Soul Slice, but I'll have to double check. But, yeah, so basically, your li Reaper's Limit Break isn't for damage. You limit The Limit Break for the Reaper is just to annoy people and make people run away from the objective, as well as buying your team time. But if you don't have your Limit Break and you're trying to buy your team time, you can use Guard because you'll barely take any damage. I'll play another clip, but... Yeah, that's that's pretty much that's like the butter butter of, of Reaper. It's just use your skills. Two off cooldown. Soul slice always off cooldown. Wait until seven or eight stacks. And here I'm gonna show you the full damage of the plentiful harvest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use death warrant. Then I'm using my slow. Then I'm wait, first of all actually I'm gonna use Arcane Crest for extra damage. Death Warrant, Slow, and then Plentiful Harvest, okay? We want to use this again, Plentiful Harvest, 22k, right? Let's see, when this runs out, it's going to do another 15k. So that's a lot, that can pretty much one-shot any squishy player or anyone under half health. So, now I'm just going to go into... A clip of my one of my games and I'm just gonna run by through everything I was thinking when I was playing that game at the start of this match you can see that instead of running straight for the crystal I went around to go try and annoy and poke some of the enemies you see how keep in mind how I use my teleport right here at the beginning and I'm just gonna put some damage in teleport back and just run away right that way I have three enemies focusing on me and my team can push in. You see how my team pushed in the middle? 
Then I go back in, annoy some people some more, manage to finish the ninja, and then my team are in the advantage, right? Because I split up their whole team playing Reaper due to the great mobility and everything. Isn't it been an example of when to use Plentiful Harvest, even if you don't have a lot of stacks? See how I only had three stacks in this enemy? I got two from using the skill, and one from killing an enemy. So I'm gonna make sure I get my fourth stack, and I'm gonna spam Plentiful Harvest on him, right? Because he's under half health, he doesn't have a lot of health. Boom, all his health is gone. Death Warrant's about to run out, there you go. He's dead. I you can see, I teleported behind, used my ult to push away the enemies from the crystal, and you can see how my team is working with me and pushing the crystal. Now I'll do everything in my power to just keep the enemies away, right? I'm casting my ult. It does like 5k damage, but I may have died, but at least I helped my team push the crystal. At this point, most of my team has died, including me, and there's not really much I can do. You can't really see what's going on. But you can see that I pop my sprint, easy to pop, shift R, easy key. I run over to the crystal con to contest, right? I ignore the ninja that's stunning me. And I'll just make sure that they don't move the crystal anymore, right? Make sure they want to hit me. And then I'll pop a guard. Popping a guard reduces damage by like 90%. You see how everyone's hitting me? I'm not taking damage. They use all their go good cooldowns on me. And now I just have to wait for my team to come. I just have to survive. This was a great example of me using my limit break to buy time for my team. We're currently in overtime, or just about to be overtime, and the enemy team is all here and pushing my team. So I use Hysteria to push them all away, and just buy as much time as I can. You see I moved the crystal back a little bit. Lastly, I just want to say thank you all guys for all watching. Hopefully you found this helpful, and if there's any tips you have that you want me to put in a later video, make sure to put them in the comments. And let me know what other classes you guys want me to make a noob for noobs tips, right? Because how can someone who's experienced at the game give you noob tips? Only I can, right? Only a noob can. So let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video.